Hey guys, it's Adrian over BHA here bringing you a new video. Uh, now, of course, I mentioned this in my uh, my August status update video, but this is going to be a video on how to control your PS4 or PlayStation 4 with Home Assistant. So this is a pretty cool uh, little feature. Um, it basically will set up uh, PlayStation 4 as a media player and Home Assistant. And as you can see here, as I'm scrolling down this page, uh, the different uh, available commands that you can do, uh, you know, basically you can mimic a controller uh, almost in Home Assistant. So that's a pretty cool little feature. We're definitely going to play around with this. All right, so I don't know if you saw my video previously uh, on how to control a PS4 with Home Assistant, but this used to be done with a custom component. They hadn't fully implemented it into the production version of Home Assistant yet, so uh, there was a whole lot of extra configuration that you have to do. Now, it is a integration uh, fully built into Home Assistant and makes it super easy to set up. So let's do a quick run through of everything we're going to cover in this video. There's not a whole lot to it, but we are going to basically uh, connect our PS4 second screen app to the PS4. Uh, once uh, you have that up and running and you can control your PlayStation 4 from the second screen app on your uh, iOS or Android device, then we will uh, move over and configure our PS4 integration in Home Assistant. And then lastly, we're just going to kind of see what that looks like in action. So let's get started. All right, so of course for starters, we need to, um, we're gonna look for the second screen app in the uh, app store here on my iPad. And we'll go ahead and download that. All right, of course, we have to sign in with our PlayStation account that we use with our PlayStation 4. It has to be the same account. All right, of course, it says no PS4 found. That's okay. We're going to go up here and hit refresh. May take it a second. Uh, let me make sure my... PlayStation 4 is online. All right, there's the PS4 popped up. As we follow along the instructions here, we're going to go over here to settings. And I think we are looking for mobile app connection settings. And we're going to click on add device. And then, of course, now we have this code. We'll enter this code back on the iPad here. And of course, now you can see the device is added. There's iPad in the list as well. And now we have control of it. If we hit that PlayStation button. All right, so now we're ready to uh, configure PS4 integration in Home Assistant. So of course, we're gonna go down here in the integrations, we'll hit the plus. All 
We're going to look for uh, the PlayStation 4. And then, of course, it says uh, credentials needed. Press uh, submit. So we'll do a look for it on the uh, second screen app here and go ahead and try to connect. And then it comes up and asks us uh, for the uh, IP address and information. Um, I'm going to change it from auto discover to manual. Uh, I had issues getting it to work properly with the PlayStation 4 on auto discover. Yours may be different. I don't know. So we'll do manual entry. I'm going to put in the IP address of my PlayStation 4. Um, mine is a static IP, so it should never change. And then again, we have to enter in our PlayStation 4 information. And just as we set up the second screen app uh, for the PlayStation 4 earlier, we were basically supposed to follow those directions again and add in another device uh, specifically for um, Home Assistant. And then we'll put in this code here. Go ahead and hit finish. And now it is basically added into uh, Home Assistant. So let's move on to that last step and see it in action. All right, so here we are. This is my uh, game room page in Home Assistant. And as you can see, I now have a PlayStation 4 uh, media player there. And if I was to, you know, turn hit the power button, I can uh, turn it off. With we'll the power button again, it'll turn it back on. Everything looks good there. And as I was showing you at the beginning, you can do all these commands listed here on the Home Assistant's uh, wiki page for, uh, for the PlayStation 4 component. So we're gonna test some of this out here. I'm just gonna pull up my uh, developer tools and go into the uh, services tab. We're gonna do a, a PS4 send command. Put in our uh, media player. Change that to right, and let's test this out here. See, every time we hit the command, you see that moving to the right. Everything looks awesome. We have a fully functioning PlayStation 4 controller with Home Assistant. So no longer having to use a custom component. It's all integrated into uh, Home Assistant uh, in the production version, so everything looks good. That's the end of the video, guys. So uh, again, if you were using the custom component before, you can wipe that out and move over to the new PS4 integration. Everything is fully implemented in Home Assistant now. This is how you set that up. Uh, just uh, one more device that uh, if you didn't already have it added into Home Assistant, that you can now fully implement it. Definitely worth checking out. Let's do a quick run through of everything we covered in this video. So of course, uh, for starters, we connected our PS4 second screen app on our uh, device, uh, either iOS or Android, to our PlayStation 4. Uh, once we did that, we basically configured our PS4 integration in Home Assistant. And then, of course, lastly, I showed you what that looked like in action. That's the end of the video, guys. I hope it helped uh, in setting up your PlayStation 4 in Home Assistant. Uh, if you liked the video, please subscribe to my channel. If you have any questions or comments, hit me up in the comments below. As always, if there are any videos out there you'd like to see that I don't already have out there, 
let me know in the comments as well, and I'll see if I can't get something put together for you guys. Otherwise, I'll see you guys around. Thanks.